Hello and welcome back. This is problem E, knapsack 2 from Adcoder Educational DP contest. The problem states that there are n items numbered from 1 to n. For each i between 1 and n, the ith item has a weight wi and a value of vi. Taro has decided to choose some of the n items and carry them home in his knapsack and the capacity of that knapsack is w which means that the sum of the weights of the items taken must be at most w so he must select some of the items as so that their weights sum of the weights is less than equals to w and we need to find the maximum possible sum of values of the items that uh, he can choose so this is the main question the constraints are n is up to uh, 100 uh, the knapsack capacity is up to 10 to 9 and the weights are up to less than equals to the knapsack capacity obviously for the constraints and the value is up to a thousand now let's look at some of the observations the first thing to note here is that the constraints uh, are fairly small for the answer so if you look at these two constraints for n and the value it uh, gives us an idea that what the maximum answer could be so the first thing is to note the constraints and based on that we can deduce that the maximum possible answer any possible answer for any subset uh, for the test could be n times vi because this is the maximum possible answer this is because if uh, we have a knapsack with capacity let's say infinite just for a sake of example and the values then in that case we can take all the items in our knapsack so each of them will have some value and the maximum value for this is uh, only a, a thousand and n is up to a hundred that means the maximum possible answer is up to a uh, order 10 to 5 and this uh, gives us a better solution or we can say an idea to solve this question so let's also look at the standard approach for solving any knapsack type of problems so the basic idea is to store the weight and the item that we need to choose in the state so what is the capacity left in our knapsack after choosing some of the items so suppose this was the input items one two three four five six up to seven and let's say uh, we are at a current index id and we need to choose we we have the option to choose this item in our website then we had two choices either to choose it or not depending on what capacity is left with us of already chosen items and this is uh, non-optimal because the constraints are fairly large for the second state of uh, the dynamic programming approach that we could have used because this is not storable in a state of a dynamic programming solution so the constraints hint us that there is maximum answer which is possible only up to 10 to 5 
so we can reverse the problem a bit so the idea is to find out for each of this value v that is possible as answer so v belongs to 1 to 10 to 5 where v is the answer of our problem and for each v we check whether there is a subset subset exists uh, which has sum of values equals to this value that we have fixed for each of them we need to try and check whether there is a sub subset which has uh, the sum of values as equals to v and as well as the sum of the weights of that subset is less than equals to w so these two constraints need to be followed if we fixed some value v in this particular range so the main idea now boils down to finding the minimum sum of weights of item uh, of subset of items with value exactly equals to v so since we fixed this value for a particular v in this range 1 to 10 to 5 we need to know the minimum weight subset Uh, since we are finding out minimum so because we want this should to be less than equals to w so if we find any subset with some less than equals to w then it is a valid set so it is always better to find the minimum so this is the main idea to find the minimum sum of weights of a subset which has value exactly equals to v sum of weights equals sum of weight is minimum this is minimum now the problem boils down to saying that we need to find a subset so the construction is as simple as a subset but the choices we have for a particular subset is either to choose an item in the subset or not so if we uh, have tried all these items from left to right and we are at current item with index id then we have two options either to take this or don't take and we will look at how the choices change the state of the function next up we need to know what we are actually evaluating while finding out the dynamic programming approach so the main idea is to find minimum weight subset with sum of values exactly equals to v so these are the only two constraints that we need to find the subset over and notice that we are finding the minimum sum of the weights of the subset right so the function that we are going to write let's say f of some bar states should return sum of weights this is what we are minimizing and we, we are minimizing this exact term okay so now let's look at the recurrence relation suppose we are given this items 1 to n 
and we need to make the choice for the ith item in that case we before that we must have chosen some items which would have some value so let's say we want the sum of subset some of the values of subset exactly equals to v so we can store what is the v remaining until now so if the first item was chosen then v remaining would have been v minus v1 if the first and the third was chosen in that case v remain would have been v minus v1 minus v3 because these two are chosen in the subset and v remaining is whatever it is left behind now we have two choices and we need to minimize this over these two choices so the first one is to choose the ith item in that case the weight of that item would be considered wi and the weight of the remaining choices would have been taken by going on to the next index and since we have taken this item then v remain is subtracted with the value that we of the item that we chose and if not then nothing is added to the sum of weights and so we simply move to the next choice that is available from index i plus one and since we did not include it then we remain remains same so these are the two choices and the entire recurrence relation for this particular problem statement and it is also important to know that since we are going to fix v in a particular range 1 to 10 to 5 and after that we are going to call or find out some subset right so after fixing v in this range we find out where the minimum sum subset from index 1 and v remain is initially this value and if this value is less than equals to the knapsack capacity which is capital w given in the question then that is a valid answer and since we need to maximize the value we find out the maximum v for which this condition holds okay now let's look at the c++ implementation this is a top-down approach we take in input n and the total this is w which is the knapsack capacity we take in input weights and values of n items after that we initialize the final answer and we are going to iterate it from 10 raised to 5 all the way up to 1 because if we find any possible answer so this is the function that is actually finding out the minimum weight subset which starts by choosing elements from nth index and the value remaining is v remain is a i for a fixed i which belongs to the range 1 to 10 to 5 which is v as we saw in the naming convention earlier and if this is less than equals to total then that is a uh, answer that we are looking for now let's look at how this function is evaluated give minimum weight gives us the minimum sum of weights of a subset of items which have the summation of values exactly equals to the value that we fixed earlier this is the definition of this recurrence function so if the value is uh, goes beyond zero that means we have chosen an invalid subset in that case we can return infinity since we want to minimize it so it is uh, so returning a maximum value will uh, not affect that particular choice and that particular choice would be neglected if we reach a value zero that means we have chosen a valid subset in that case we can return zero and consider that particular choice in the subset and this means that we have reached the end of items that are available to us so 
we started at this index next one we will move on to the previous one which would be some index minus two and so on then eventually we are going to end up at index or item id equals to zero which is this case and this case means that we again have an invalid set where this condition is not followed that means we need to ignore this choice or don't take this choice okay so these are about the base condition this is the memoization part the first choice being we take that particular item in the subset if that is taken the weight is considered and we consider the items from index id minus one since this was index id we move on to index id minus one this will be evaluated so on and the value remaining would be decremented by by the value of that particular item so this item had weight wid and value vid so that this particular value is subtracted from for the next state the second case is that we don't take this item in that case we move on to the next choice which was item minus one you can solve this from left to right or right to left any anything is fine so you can move on to the next state and pass on the state information accordingly uh, the convention style depends on the implementation and if that item is not taken the value left is not affected and we need to find the minimum weight subset hence we take the minimum and return the answer from this function this is it about the implementation the time complexity for this approach is let's see so this iteration can run up to order 10 to 5 times but since all the states are memoized that means uh, in all uh, the time complexity is same as the time complexity of the recursive function over all unique states that are possible so the number of unique values that the first state can take is order n and the number of unique values that this can take is ordered up to 10 to 5 and n was up to 100 that means and these transitions are also constant time that means the total time complexity would be uh, the states order n times order 10 to 5 let's not call it 10 to 5 but see vi times n and since vi is up to 1000 and up to 100 100 this overall turns out to be up to 10 to 8 operations which is easily solvable in one second uh, on any modern computer so the, that is it about this video the main idea was to look at the constraints and reverse the problem so we instead of finding out directly finding out the minimum sum of values we iterated over all possible values in the possible range of answers and uh, searched for a subset which had this particular sum of values and since the subset was also bounded by the knapsack capacity we also found out the minimum sum of weight subset so that it uh, happens to be less than equals to the knapsack capacity okay that's it about this video if you found this useful or if you have any doubts or suggestions do let me know in the comments thank you